You're looking at the historic Eastern Market in downtown Washington, D.C. I'm going to tell you a couple of tips and advice so that your visit there can be exceptional. My number one advice to you if you want to visit Eastern Market is not to do this. Do not drive there. That's because it is dead smack in the middle of a residential neighborhood. And the only parking available is street parking. And the parking is horrendous. If you can ride your bike there, I recommend you do that. There are plenty of folks who are biking it in. If you can take the public transportation system like the metro, I recommend you do that because it's right across the street from the Eastern Market. So the metro is a good option. There's also the bus. So any way you can get there, get there. But do not, I say again, do not drive your car. Yes. This right now is me walking inside the Eastern Market. And as you can see, it's pretty picturesque. As you would expect in a market, the different uh, vendors, they set up their booths. They have flowers, uh, desserts, produce, uh, meat, cheese, different types of things. Uh, really nice. And it's, it's exactly what you exp would expect from a historic market. Now, one of the big attractions of Eastern Market is market lunch. And we're going to go there now. And it's a restaurant within the market. And this is what it looks like on a Saturday morning at around 10 o'clock in the morning. Now, they say that congressmen come in here and they sit with the regular locals. And in all my times of coming to Eastern Market, I have never, ever seen a congressman in here. It's pretty much local folks from D.C. But I could be wrong. Congress people could come here. I just never see them. Okay, we have transitioned from inside to outside, and this is the produce market, and it's the largest section of the outside vendors, and there are hundreds of vendors that sell a whole bunch of stuff, and we'll get into all of that. But right now, this is produce, and they say that it's local and it's fresh. The reality is, we have no idea where these people are coming from and what fresh actually means. You know, the, the definition of fresh is anywhere from three to 400 miles. I'm not saying they're coming from that far, but I'm just saying we have no idea. Another thing to know about the market is that it is family and kid friendly and it is safe. There's some parts of DC that are sketchy, but Eastern Market area is not one of them. It's located in Capitol Hill. They have um, police patrol there, but I never felt like I was unsafe in this section of the market. Now, let's look at the outside vendors and they're grouped into categories. And if you ever come to Eastern Market, you can be guaranteed to find these types of vendors. And I'm going to go through them right now. Great. The first category of vendors that you'll find at the market is jewelry. And not just any type of jewelry, about half of the jewelry manufacturers, in fact, maybe even a little bit more than half, are, you know, um, not homemade, but they're, they're not traditional types of jewelry. Either they have, you know, some quality that makes them unique. So they're not stuff that you're gonna find at Zales or in other areas, uh, you know, of retail establishments. So if you're looking for stuff that's unique, not only in jewelry, but my second category, clothing, you should check out Eastern Market. They have traditional type clothing from people from all over the continent and the world. You'll also find unique artwork. Either the person who created the art or took the photograph is right there and they're selling it so you can actually have a conversation with them or they know the individual and they can put you in touch with them. But you're gonna find unique artwork. Next is pottery, and the pottery again is one of a kind, unique, so if you bought it here, you'll probably have the only copy of it in the entire world. Another thing to know about Eastern Market is that pets are welcome. It's in the middle of a neighborhood, so you'll find tons of dogs. Uh, it was surprising how many dogs there were there, but there's always dogs and pets at Eastern Market, so if you have one, bring it. He's probably gonna find lots of friends. We 
talked about the outdoor produce market, but if you are at Eastern Market, you'll find tons of things that are locally made. And I can personally attest that the food there most for the most part it's good you know and it smells terrific so i definitely recommend you come with an appetite now right in front of the aquatic center which is located right next to eastern market and this is what it looks like are a bunch of vendors that are set up and these vendors um, have a bunch of cultural type food this is my personal favorite right here you can expect to pay for anywhere from 15 to 25 dollars and get a full meal and the meals are fantastic my YouTube channel focuses on things that are fun and interesting to individuals and families who are visiting or live in the DC metro area. For other great ideas, I recommend you check my channel out and the best thing that you can do to help me is to subscribe.